Hi guys. This is Diagrotech. Today, we are going to download and install PFSense on VMware Workstation Pro. This would be our topology, we will set PFSense 1 interface to bridge for us to access from our local host or to be part of our physical network. We will connect Windows 10 to be our PFSense LAN device. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you. Let's proceed, we will download the PFSense ISO image. Open your web browser and go to pfsense.org. Go to Downloads. During the time of this recording, the latest version is 2.5.1. For the architecture choose AMD64. For the installer choose DVD image. For the mirror you can choose any server. Now click on download. While waiting for it to download, launch your VMware Workstation Pro. If you haven't installed this application, you can check the link on the description below for my tutorial on how to install VMware Workstation Pro and also how to install Windows 10 on VMware. Now, we will edit the virtual network adapters. Go to Edit, Virtual Network Editor. You can see the current virtual networks present. Click Change Settings. The VMNet0 is the bridged network adapter. You can bridge it to automatic, or you can specify which network adapter, in my case I'm using my USB Gigabit Ethernet adapter, since Wi-Fi sometimes encounter some issue. This means, this will be connected or will be part of my physical network, I usually use bridged because I want to easily access it from my local host or my computer. It's more convenient. Now, let's add another virtual network adapter for our LAN network. Click Add Network. You can select a network to add, we will choose VMNet5, click OK. We will now set the IP net mask for our LAN. From our topology it's 192.168.100 with slash 24 subnet. We will disable the DHCP server from here, we will configure it from the PFSense console. Once done, click Apply, then OK. Let's now check the downloaded file. We have to extract it first, right click then extract files. We will import this image from the VMware workstation. Click create a new virtual machine. Click next, choose I will install the operating system later, click next, choose other. Expand the version. Choose FreeBSD 1264 bit. Next again. Enter virtual machine name, we will give it PFSense. For the location you can change it or leave it as default, I usually store all my VM machines on my drive D. Once done, click next. We will choose store virtual disk as a single file. Click next. Now we have to customize hardware. Click on new CD DVD. Choose use ISO image file. Browse and locate the extracted file. In my case it's in my downloads folder. Click the disk image then click open. Go to network adapter, again we will set this to bridge so that we can access it from our local host or from our computer. Now, we have to add the network adapter for our LAN, click add, choose network adapter then click finish. Click the new added network adapter, select customize then choose the VMNet5 which we have created earlier. You can verify the settings. Once done, click close. Click finish. Now, open your network connection. Choose the VMNet5 which is the PFSense LAN. Right click on it then Properties. Click on IPv4 then Properties. We will set IP address of 192.168.100.10, subnet mask of slash 24, 
and the gateway would be 192.168.100.1. Click OK to apply. Now power on the virtual machine. While waiting for it to install then we will configure the Windows 10 or the PFSense LAN device, this depends on the virtual machine you want to configure as PFSense LAN device. Right click on it then choose settings. Go to network adapter, choose custom. Expand the virtual network option then choose VMNet 5 which we configured as our PFSense LAN network. Once done, click OK. Now power on the Windows 10 virtual machine. Let's check the PFSense. We will leave it all as default, hit enter to accept the copyright distribution. Enter to install PFSense. Enter to continue with default key map. Enter to proceed. The installation is now finished. Select no or press enter. Press enter to reboot and complete the installation. I will fast forward the video. Now, notice the one IP address which is in the same network with my physical network. You can see the IP is 10.1.1.29 and my computer is 10.1.1.6. Next step is we have to change the LAN IP netmask based on our topology. We have some options to choose to, we will choose option 2, set interfaces IP address. Type 2 then press enter. Select which interface you want to make changes. Since it's the LAN then we will select option 2. Type 2 then press enter. Enter the PFSense LAN gateway which we configured earlier, 192.168.100.1 then press enter. Subnet mask is slash 24, type 24 then press enter. Now, we'll skip this option, press enter for none, again, press enter for none. Next is the DHCP server, you can skip this if you want. We will configure it for this demo, type Y then hit enter. Start of the DHCP address we will set 192.168.100.100. End address will set it 192.168.100.200. Do you want to revert to HTTP as the web configurator? Type Y then enter for us to access through web interface. You can now access the web configurator by opening the following URL in your web browser. Since we set the PFSense 1 IP to bridge then we should be able to ping and access it from our local host or computer. Open command prompt. Ping 192.168.100.1, success. Now. Let's open a browser and enter the IP address. 192.168.100.1, success. By default, the username is admin and password is pfsense. Welcome to pfsense. To skip this setup wizard, simply click on the pfsense logo at the top. Accept the copyright and trademark notices. Scroll down and you will see the WAN and LAN interfaces we configured from the PFSense console. Now, let's open the PFSense LAN device which is the Windows 10. Since we enabled DHCP then this device should automatically receive IP address from the DHCP server. Let's check the network adapter configuration. We will set it to DHCP. Let's check the IP address received. Right click on the network adapter then choose status, notice the IP address received is 192.168.100.100 which is our first DHCP IP address. And the gateway 192.168.100.1. Open the command prompt and test to ping the gateway. Ping 192.168.100.1. Success. Now, 
we will try to access the PF Sense from the web browser. 192.168.100.1, success. You can log in to verify. Username is admin and password is PF Sense. Success. You can access it from the PF Sense LAN device and also from our local host. To check the interface's configuration, go to Interfaces, Assignments. Notice the interface is configured. To check the firewall rules, go to Firewall, Rules. You can see the WAN and also LAN rules. You can delete the IPv6 rule if not needed. You can edit the IPv4 policy. Click on the pin sign. You can see the action is pass or allowed, interface which is the LAN, protocol is any, it means, all protocols are allowed. Source is the LAN network and destination is any or all. Click on save. This policy mean, no restrictions and no blocking. The firewall rule configuration has been changed. The changes must be applied for them to take effect. Click on Apply Changes. Since all the protocols are allowed and no restrictions, we should be able to access the Internet from the LAN device. Let's ping the Google DNS, ping 8.8.8.8. Success. Let's open a browser and try to browse the Internet. Success. You can import this machine from the GNS3. Or you can check my other video how to install PF Sense on GNS3. Well, that's all for today's demonstration. I really hope you like this video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.